Hey, hello, Scorpios. How you doing? This is keeping it classy. Keeping it classy. All right. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing your story read, you guys. All right. Hit that notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Hit the join button and become a member of my channel. Like, share this video, you guys, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, you new viewers. Subscribe to my channel. Sit back and enjoy this story read. All right. So we're going to see what's going on in your overall energy. What message that um, you could be given to get some insight on something you may not be seeing. That's going on around you. Okay. Scorpio's energy. Okay. Two cards. That's all I need. Hmm. You may be getting a message from someone. That wants to commit to you. This person wants a partnership with you. You may hear, they may be in love. They may tell you they're in love with you. An air sign. Uh, no, diamond. That's a um, earth sign. You may get this from, this may be an earth sign. It could have earth and air in their chart. Let me see. 12, number 12. Birds, yeah. You may get a ma message from someone. Or you may find out that someone that you're in love with is dealing with someone else, has you in a third party situation. It could be that as well. You may hear it over social media or gossip. You may hear somebody may come and tell you this. Or you're going to find out, yeah. Mm. Yep. Or either somebody you're gonna get a message with someone from someone, a phone call, you know, and they're gonna tell you that they're in love with you, that they want they want a commitment with you. So it's either one. Some of you may get that, and some of you may get the other one. Some of you may find out you're in a third party situation. Somebody that you're dealing with. And you may overhear it that they have you in a third party situation. Because there's a guy up here and two people down here. And it may be same sex. You may find out somebody you're dealing with is dealing with the same sex. Somebody that you're in love with is dealing with the same sex. That you're in a commitment with is dealing with the same sex. And they have you in a third party situation. And they may be in love with this same sex person. You may find out that your person is is gay. And they may be moving off. Look at them flying away on here. They may be leaving you for somebody that they're in love with, the same sex. <sighs> okay, Scorpio. I knew I had to do that reading um, over for a reason. Okay, um, Scorpio. So let me get some cards to drop you guys, and we'll begin your story. But that's for somebody. That's for somebody, that message. So, you know, if you're suspicious of your partner, somebody dealing with an earth and air sign person. Let me make sure that was Let me make sure. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong um sign the new card so let me see yep it's earth earth and air yep earth and air because hearts is air
Earth and air sign. So it could be a Virgo. This person could be a Virgo. Um, Taurus. Capricorn person. Earth. And they could have um, Aquarius. Um... Oh my goodness, my mind. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra in their chart as well. It could be one of those signs. Okay, so um, let me get some cards to drop for the story, you guys. Scorpio energy. Ready. Scorpio. Oh, they're ready to drop already. Scorpio's ready to talk. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Scorpio's energy. Wow. Two more cards. Scorpio's energy. Okay. 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 There we go. You guys got a lot of cards. So let drop first. Okay. And put I'm gonna put it over here. Try to get the cards off the bottom. Okay, you guys have the lovers, the nine of swords, two of coins, the queen of spears. The King of Swords, the Four of Cups, Scorpios, Three of Coins, the Ace of Coins, the Page of Cups, the World, the King of Spears, the Nine of Coins, and the Seven of Spears. Okay, somebody's in love with you. The lovers, they feel like you're their um, soulmate, their divine partner. Or somebody could have you in a third party situation because the lover card, the lover's card is, that could be a third party card too. Yeah, that's what it is. They're in love with somebody else. <laughs> Sorry. This person has you in a third party and they're stuck. Nine of Swords. They're stuck in a situation. They're stuck with the person. They may be in love with you. So they have you in a third party. You may not know it. Let me see. Let's go on further. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story I see on top. But when I clarify the cards, the story could change, you guys. So you could clarify with that story as well. So, um, you know, that's a good thing. But it's definitely going to go more in depth. Okay, so let me look. Let me look at this before I go on and say I should have looked at everything. <sighs> yeah, somebody has you in a third party. Yep. And they're, they're mentally stuck. On making a decision. Two of coins. They're, they're juggling. This person is juggling you with a, a Leo. 
They're juggling you with the queen of spears. They have a mistress. So you're married. You may be married to this person. Your divine partner. Yeah, you may be married to a Gemini, Scorpio. Or in something long term with a Gemini. They're juggling you. And this person is mentally stuck on who to decide between. That's what's going on. They're mentally stuck on who to decide between. You are this queen of wands. You are this mistress. It's probably a Leo. Maybe a Leo. King of swords. Keep your guard up with this person. You With your person. You need to um, keep your guard up with your person. Guard your heart. This person that you're dealing with, this Gemini. If you're dealing with a Gemini, keep your guard up. You need to fight this person off because they're juggling you. They're offering their cup to this queen of wands. They're trying to build a partnership, a stability. With this queen of wands. They're trying to move forward in a new beginning of success. With this um, the ace of coins. With this um, queen of wands. Page of cups. They want a family. They're trying, they want a family. This person wants a family with this queen of wands. Or they may have a secret family with this queen of wands. You may get a message Concerning this, this card used to be good news to page of cups. Or they're trying, you need to use your wisdom, your intuition. Use your intuition um, so you can see what's going on around you. You may get a message coming in. You may find out about what's going on between these two. You could have found out through a text message or something that that's what's going on. And the cycle's ended between you and this person, but you're going to embark on a new beginning or you find out from a text message that they wanted to end the cycle with you and start a new beginning with this person that innerly satisfies them. And you know that it's sexual. The king of wands, this is a, I mean, the king of spirits, this is a sexual card. So they have a lot of sex or they love the sex between them and this person. But you're going to be okay. You're, you're still going to stand in your abundance. When they end this cycle with you, or if you, if you, whoever's ending this cycle, because you may find out and you may end the cycle, or they may just end the cycle, okay? And you need to use your intuition on and see what's going on around you, okay? And then this, this Queen of Wands might be pregnant. That fish jumping out that cup, they might be pregnant. Or they may have a secret family with this person, a child with this person, and you don't know it. Nine of coins, but you're going to be okay. You're going to stand in your abundance even after this. If you walk away, if the cycle ends, you're going to still be abundant. You're going to be okay. Beautiful, strong, strong person. Okay, seven of spears. You're going to fight this person off. Or you're being told, continue to fight this person off. Stand your ground okay, in this situation. All right. So um, I'm going to. um, And you may have Virgo in your charts. And Libra. I mean, air. You may have. Yeah, Libra. You may have some Libra in your chart as well, Scorpio. All right, so let me um, clarify the cards. Okay, we're going to clarify the lover's card. Lovers. Clarify the lovers concerning Scorpio's energy. Clarify the lovers concerning Scorpio's energy. Clarify the lovers. Scorpio's energy. Okay, two cards. Wow. 
<sighs> Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're deceiving you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they may have it. Oh, yeah, that's air. They're deceiving you. Seven of Swords. This person is deceiving you. They have you in a third party situation. Either you're married or you're in something long term with this person. Ace of Swords. Yep, they're trying. They're, they're trying to move forward in a um, new beginning somewhere else, but they're mentally stuck on how to do it, on who to choose, or how to go about doing it. Moving on. Clarify the nine of swords, or they may they may be mentally stuck on you, but trying to move on somewhere else. That you still on their mind mentally. <clears throat> Clarify the nine of swords. Turn Scorpio. Could be that too. Yeah. Commitment. Two of cups. So yeah, two of cups. Yeah, they're mentally stuck on who to commit to. Or how to get out of the commitment with you. So you could be married. This is this could be a marriage card. So you, you're probably married to this person. But they're still stuck on you. If you're married to this person or in something long term. So they're just juggling. They're just juggling you guys. Clarify the two of coins. Yep, four coins. They don't want to let go of the stability. So they may lose money if they let you go. Or you may make the bulk of the money. Or coins. Or they know they got to give you money if, you, if they leave you. So they're trying to hold on to you. So they just rather juggle. This person rather just rather juggle you. With this, with this mistress. Look at this. This person rather juggle you. If they're trying to hold on, they hold on to that stability. They don't want to lose nothing. nothing. So they rather queen of wands it. They keep a mistress. Keep this person as a mistress. And they're silly if they're allowing that. Clarify the queen of wands and Scorpio's energy. Yeah, hangman. Yeah. So they're stagnant. They're not moving forward because this person is not trying to let go of who they have that that their stability they're not trying to let go of that so it's stagnant between them and this this Leo oh this person fights them all this person may have Libra in their chart this person fights them off because they probably want your person to leave Yeah, they keep their guard up. They fight your person off. A Libra, um, Leo person. Clarify the King of Swords. Let's see what's why. Clarify the King of Swords and um, Scorpio's energy. Clarify the King of Swords. Yep, three of spears. Or this is you. You may be being told to keep your guard up with your person. You need to fight them off if they come your way. Because they have a mistress in it, and they're stagnant with the mistress. So if they, yeah, this may be you. They may be telling, you can have Libra in your chart. Okay, it could be either one. But I'm, it's you, I'm believing. They're telling you, you're being told to keep your guard up with your, this person, this Gemini you're dealing with. Whether it's your husband or some or wife or somebody you have long term with, keep the guard up, fight them off. Wait on better to come for you. Turn your back on the situation. Wait on something better, because this person is um or this is if this is the mistress, it's stagnant because she this mistress he or she wants your partner to leave. So they won't deal with them anymore. They probably it's not giving them sex anymore because they want them to leave the situation. They want them to leave you, but they won't leave because they don't want to let go of that stability. So they fight this person off, your person off. They have their guard up with your person. 
Okay, and they've turned their back on your person because they're waiting on better. Okay, so it could be that situation as well. All right. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. An offer. Yeah, if you're being told this, you got an offer coming in. Turn your back on the situation. We don't better because the offer is going to come in to you. Clarify the four of cups if it already has it. Clarify the four of cups and Scorpio's energy. Yeah, it's somebody from your past. They're coming in to offer you a cup. They may have already offered you a cup. But they think about you a lot. This is a soulmate of yours. Somebody you may have used to be friends with, but you guys are very close. Yep. The seven of coins. And this person, yeah. And this is going to have you contemplating or hesitating and, you know, doing some inner reflecting on which way to go, you know? Or you're being told don't rush and don't accept the, the cup quick. Take your time. You know, look to see if this person suits you stability-wise, okay? Make sure that they suit you stability-wise on the three of cups, on building a partnership of stability with, okay? Yep. Oh, this fill out six of spears. And if they do, move forward with this person. And the success. It's going to be a success. Or this is what's going to happen when they come in. You are going to hesitate. You're going to take your time because you're going to see which way you need to go. Stability-wise in this situation. Is it going to suit you stability-wise in your future? All right? And, you know, if you build a partnership with this person of stability, is it going to be a success moving forward? Ace of coins. You're going to have a new beginning, a success. This is going to be good news for you because this may be somebody you've always um, thought about. And this card fell out. <sighs> Queen of Swords. You may have some... Oh! This may be an air sign. They could have water in their chart. A water sign. Or this is you in a reflecting. This person wants to move forward into success with you. And this has you in a reflecting because you're trying to make sure is this, you know, is it a success? Will it be a success? Will this build, you know, is this truly an ace of pentacles? But it's good news. This person wants a family. This person is wanting a family with you. So you're getting some, it, this is good news for you. But maybe you're not you're hiding it that it's good news because you're trying to make sure this person is Legit. Clarify the page of cups concerning their stability. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. Five of swords. Oh. So this is a message. Oh, man. You may get a message. A page of cups. Unexpected news. This is unexpected news as well. But usually this card is good news. But five of swords is here. A loss. You're going to get some unexpected news that saddens you or makes you feel at a loss. Concerning um, an emperor. An Aries. Oh, or this is good news. This could be good news that they, they just miss you. Or this is some going to be some good news coming in to you. So maybe it's going to come, they're going to text you. How they want to, um, they're going to offer you a cup by text. 
that they want to move forward in their success with you. And it's going to be some good news to this emperor. I mean, um, this is going to be some good news from you. And it's um, to you from this emperor, uh, Aries. This person misses you. So maybe that's what they're going to tell you. They're going to, you're going to get a text or some type of message. It could be a phone call. And they're going to tell you that they miss you. This person is bossy and controlling. But you probably already know that. Yeah, they're going to tell you that they're ending a cycle and that they want a new beginning with you. Clarify the world. Wow. Clarify the world and Scorpio's energy. 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 Clarify the world. Strength card. Yeah, they, um, this person is coming in wanting to heal things with you. They could have Leo in their chart. An emperor don't have to be an Aries, but they could be an Aries. But Leo is here. This person is wanting to heal things with you. They're just an emperor, independent person, like an um, entrepreneur. Yeah, they're very stable. So maybe you found out good news that they 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 were very stable. And this is somebody you may have missed. And they're an emperor. And maybe they weren't an emperor when you met them. When you knew them in your past, they weren't an emperor. But now they're an emperor. That's what it is. So you did your uh, inner reflecting on this person. You were looking back. They weren't an emperor in your past, but now they're an emperor. You're hearing good news. But you miss this person. Five of swords, or they miss you. Okay, they may tell you they miss you. But they're now an emperor. They're coming into you as an emperor. This person. And this person is going through an ending their self. And they want a new beginning with you. They want to heal things with you. If, if you guys had anything happen bad in the past, they want your forgiveness. This person's always held on to you. Okay, you always innerly satisfied this king of wands, this emperor. Okay, they could have Sagittarius in their chart. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They probably have them all in it, all three because Leo's right here, Aries right here, Sag. Yeah, this person always held on to you. You innerly satisfied them. Woohoo, you know how sexually. Oh, they love it. They can't get that off their mind. Okay, so let's, King of Spears, let's clarify. Clarify this. Clarify this. Well. Let me take it. Yeah, you may see them as a bit immature as well. This person may come in having a lot on their plate, a lot of pride. You know, they're very independent. And they make, yeah, they're coming in to announce. Yeah, they're coming in to announce them, what I just said to you. I found the page of Spears. And Scorpio's energy. Let's find the page of Spears. Five of coins. Yeah, they're coming in to announce that they miss you. This person sees you as beautiful. This is how they see you. They see you strong, beautiful. Nurturing, passionate, standing in your abundance. They see you as very abundant. Clarify the nine of coins. You may have Virgo in your chart. Eight of swords. Somebody's stuck. 
They may see you being stuck as well in the cycle. Or this person, yeah, they see you stuck. Or they used to be confused concerning you. You may they they may used to be confused. They had them stuck in a cycle about you. Let's see, clarify the eight of swords. Clarify the eight of swords and Scorpio's energy. Or maybe you haven't got out of this cycle yet with this person, so they see you being stuck. This person having you in a third party situation. But they see you you standing in your they see you being strong and independent. This because this is a single card, abundant. But they see you being stuck in a cycle, two of swords. At a crossroads. They see you being at a crossroads in a situation with this person up here. The hermit. Or this is you. Maybe you're stuck in you are stuck in a cycle. You are with this person that had you in a third party situation. Something has you stuck in a cycle. And two of swords, you had a crossroads. Maybe you're blind. You need to open your intuition. You're at a crossroads. Look at your eyes. You're blind. You're not seeing how to get out of this situation. You may be confused. Something has you confused. The hermit. You need to use your intuition to help you. Get out of this situation. And at the same time, you need to fight this person off. Or you are fighting this person off. But you're confused. Maybe what you're going through with this person has you blinded. Because, you know, it put you through a lot. And it has you blinded. And you're trying to focus. And you're trying to use your intuition. And you're trying to fight this person off. Clarify the seven of spears. Clarify the seven of spears. Yeah. Because you want to have you want to be happy. Your focus is being happy. You want to be happy. So you're fighting this person off. They had you in a third party situation. You are fighting them off. Clarify the sun card. You're trying to find your way to happiness. And you're trying to be led by your higher self. Your higher power. You probably have Leo in your chart as well. Aquarius. Hmm. Clarify the sun card. Yeah. Six of coins. This person wants your time, your attention, and your stability. Or this person will give you this. This person that wants to move forward with you. Or you just want balance. This card is also the card of balance. Attention, stability, and comfort. You want that in those areas. You want to be balanced out in all those areas. So that's what you're trying to focus on using your intuition on helping you get there. Clarify the Six of Coins and Scorpio's energy. And this person may be the one that helps you get there. Yeah, this is this person. Yeah, this is this person. They're wanting to give you this. This emperor, they want to give you stability, time, and attention. This person is going to help you get out of this situation. This person is coming in and wants something long-term, wanting marriage. They could have Taurus in their chart, this emperor. They could be a Taurus. Taurus, Leo, Aries. All right, so that's, that's it for your reading. I wish you luck in this situation. I hope you get out of this situation. But um, an offer's coming. You got a good offer coming. An emperor's coming. Okay? This person. Very independent. Very secure. Stability-wise. They're in your past. You may not have knew them. as They may not have been an emperor. But now they're coming to you as an emperor. This person wants 
marriage. This person wants long term. And if this is you, you're just putting um setting boundaries in your life, you know? But this is somebody coming in. And this person could see you making them happy. They may come in fighting for you. If this not you fighting this person off, this is this person coming in to you. They may come in and fight to fight for you. They may try to rush you out of your situation, you know. But if you're not ready, then, you know, don't do it. But they may try to come in and kind of rush you out of your situation because you make them happy. They're ready to move forward with you. They want to get, they want all your time, attention, and stability. They want to give you time, attention, and stability. They want to take care of you. This person wants to marry you. They want something long-term, if not marriage. They want a committed relationship with you. All right, so I hope I can help somebody out in this situation. You guys, hit that notification button below. Um, hit the join button to become a member of my channel. Like, share this video, you guys. Thank you. And hit the subscribe button as well. I'd love to have you guys as a subscriber, okay? And I hope I could give you guys some insight on something you need to hear and need to see, you know? You need to open your eyes to, okay? All right. You guys be good. Love you. Until next time. Again, comment below as well, you guys. Intermingle with me, all right? Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.